Hello, OKCPS. My name is Liz Huff, and I work with Educational Technology Services. We are here today to show you the most used keyboard shortcuts that I hope you will be able to learn and use when you are doing work on your computer to make your life a little bit easier and make your work go just a little bit faster. Keyboard shortcuts are a simple series of buttons, and today we're going to be using Google Chrome browser. These shortcuts work best on Google Chrome, and I figured since we use Gmail, we use Google Docs and Google Slides, and all the great stuff that Google offers us as a district, that I would be showing you those keyboard shortcuts that would work best on a Google Chrome browser. So when you're trying these out, make sure that you're in Google Chrome. We're going to be going over shortcuts for a Mac and for a Windows PC. So whatever device you have, these shortcuts will cover it. For a Mac and a Windows PC, the buttons are just a little bit different and I will be going over each one today and what those buttons are to complete different tasks. Again, please make sure that you're in your Google Chrome browser and let's go ahead and get started. The shortcuts that we're gonna go over today are to reopen previously closed tabs, to open a new tab, copy, paste, and cut in a few bonus ones at the end that I think you'll enjoy. So go ahead and get comfortable, get ready with your laptop, and follow along with me. Pause the video when you get to a point that you want to try something out, or write them down on a sticky note near you or wherever you keep your notes so that you can utilize these later. We're going to first start with a Windows PC. If you need to open a new tab, you're going to use this shortcut below. Go ahead and look at your keyboard. You're going to find two buttons, the control button and then the letter T. That's the shortcut you're going to use. When you're in a window with different tabs at the top or maybe just one tab at the top, when you want to open a new window, control, then T on your keyboard and it opens up a new tab for you. Whoops, accidentally closed a tab or maybe you previously closed a tab that you want to reopen, you're gonna use this shortcut below. This is a savior, I use it all the time. Control, then shift, then the letter T. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's say I'm working on this Google Doc right here and I just closed it, but I didn't mean to, or maybe I needed to open it again. Control, shift, T, and there it is. It loads right up for me to use again. I don't need to go looking for it anywhere else. The computer remembers for me. This only works for the most previously closed tab. The next one that we're gonna go over is how to copy a text or an image. You need to highlight or click on the item that you want to be copied and then use this shortcut below, Control C. Let's say you're working in a Google Doc or maybe you opened up a Google browser and you search something that you want to copy for to use later. You're going to come down to the thing that you want to copy and you're going to hold your mouse to highlight it and then control C and now that piece is copied in your clipboard. If you would like to copy an image, you're going to click on an image that it is highlighted and select it. You'll see these blue blocks around it. Once that image is highlighted, control C will copy it. Now that is in my clipboard. To paste a text or an image, you should have copied it first. That way your computer knows what you're pasting. It will be in your clipboard. You'll use control V. Let's go back to this example. Let's say I would like to use this image in a different spot on my Google Doc. I'm going to copy it, control C, and then go down to the place where I want that image to be. Control V is paste and now my image shows up exactly where I want it to be. Copied and pasted. If I would like to copy and paste text, I will highlight the text that I want to paste somewhere else. I first need to copy it, control C, come down to wherever I would like that text to also be, and I will hit control V, and now that text is pasted here. The next one that we will go over is how to delete a text or an image. We're going to highlight or click on the item that you want to be deleted and then use the shortcut below, Control X. Let's go back to this document. Let's say I don't want this image here. I'm going to highlight or click on it and I will click Control X to get rid of it and now that image is gone. 
you will do the same thing for text. Highlight it, control X, and that text is gone. All right, here we go with our bonus shortcuts. This is your Windows key. Go ahead and look at your keyboard and make sure that you've identified where your Windows key is in front of you. And I'm going to show you how to zoom in or out. Sometimes you may open a Google Doc or a Google Slide or maybe even just a page in your Google browser and it's too small to see so you need to zoom in on it. This shortcut is going to show you how to do that. To zoom in, you're going to use the plus sign with your Windows key. To zoom out, you're going to use the minus with your Windows key. So let's go ahead and go over that. Say I'm in this Google Doc here, I'm just abusing and using this thing right here for my examples. If this is too difficult for me to see and I would like to zoom in, I'm going to click the Windows button and plus. Woo! In my face. If I would like to zoom out a little bit, maybe it's too close, Windows, minus. And you will see the zoom percentages right up here. It will show up in your Chrome browser. Last bonus that we're gonna go over today is how to insert a hyperlink. You must be using docs, sheets, slides, or other Google tools in order to use this shortcut right here. You're going to use the keys Control and then K. Now, if you don't know what a hyperlink is, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. I'm gonna go back to my document over here and let's say this is a document that I'm sharing with my students and I would like them to have a little bit more information. I'm gonna give them a way that they can access a resource with information I need them to have without having to type it all myself or without giving them another place to go and find that link to the resource. So I'm gonna highlight some text that's already in my document and I'm gonna to go to a website that I need my students to know or use and I'm gonna come up here to the address bar and I'm going to highlight it. And then Control C to copy. Come back to my document. This text is highlighted. And instead of paste, if I were to paste Control V, that's what that does. That's not what I want to do. To make this a hyperlink, I wanna to go to Control K. And here is where I will paste my link. Once you click apply, this turns blue with an underline and that means that this is now a hyperlink. If my students go to click on this document and they click on the hyperlink right here, the resource will show up and it will open up a new tab for them where they need to see this information. All right, that is it for Windows PC. Unless you're a Mac user, stay tuned. We're gonna go over the shortcuts for a Mac. In order to open up a new tab in a Mac, instead of control button that you would normally see on a Windows PC computer, you're gonna find the command. So just like the example I did with Windows, you will use command then T to open up a new tab. To open up a new tab, I'm gonna click command T and there you go, that's your new tab right here. Again, using a Mac, if you accidentally close a tab or if you need to open up something that you previously closed, the most previous tab will open using this keyboard shortcut, Command, then Shift, then T. Let's say you had this open and you click out of it. Oops, I did not mean to close that. Command, Shift, T, and boom, there it is. It shows right back up for me. All right, all right, we need to copy a text or an image and I wanna paste it somewhere else. First, I need to copy it. I need to highlight or click on the item to be copied and then use the shortcut below, Command-C. To show you how to copy, I'm gonna use this document right here. It's something that I just pulled from Google Drive. If I would like to copy this text right here, I need to first highlight it so that my computer knows that's what I'm copying. So I highlight by clicking down on my mouse and dragging it across the text and then command C. Now it is copied to my clipboard. If I want to copy an image, I need to click on it and make sure that it's highlighted with these blue dots around it and control C. To paste a text or an image, I should have copied it first using command C. And then to paste, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command V. Let's see, I already have this image copied to my clipboard because I just hit Control C. Let's say I wanna put this image somewhere else. I'm just gonna scroll down to where I need it. I'm gonna click in that area so that's where my cursor is. And then I will hit Control V on my keyboard and there it shows up for me. 
If I would like to copy some text and paste that somewhere else, I need to highlight it, control C, put my cursor down to where I want it to be, and then control V. Wherever my cursor is, that's where my text is going to show up. All right, how to delete text or an image. I'm gonna show you the shortcut, command X. Let's say I did not want this text or this image right here. I'm gonna highlight the text and then click control X to get rid of it. If I would like to get rid of that image, I need to click on it, highlight it, command X, and now it's gone. Bonus round for Max, here we go. To zoom in or out, I'm gonna use the shortcuts below, command shift plus or command shift mouse. Plus means my page is going to get bigger, minus means my page will get smaller. Let's use this example right here. Let's say these words are too small for me to read just yet. I'm going to click command, shift plus, and as you can see on the top bar of my page, it is zooming in for me. If that's just too close, I can zoom out, command, shift, minus. And I can get my page to where I absolutely need it to be. In our very last one, want to insert a hyperlink? You must be using Docs, Sheets, Slides, or other Google tools to use shortcut below, Command K. If you're not sure what a hyperlink is, I will be showing you right now. Let's say there is another resource that I want my students to use within this one, and I need them to have an easy way of getting to it. Well, I can go ahead and highlight this text right here using my mouse by clicking and dragging. And let's say I would like to put my resource in right here. My resource is a different page. It's a different location and I want them to use it. I'm gonna go to the address bar and highlight it. Then I will copy it, Command C. Come back to my essay and I wanna turn this into a hyperlink. If I were to just use paste, this is what would happen. Command V, and my address is pasted right here, but that's not what I want it to do. I want to turn my words into a link, a hyperlink. So I'm gonna undo that. My text is highlighted, Command K, and this is what will show up for me. I will paste my address right here in the box, click apply, and now this is a completely different thing. When my students are using this page, they can come right here to my hyperlink. They know it's linked because it's blue and underlined. If they click right here, they will open up the resource I want them to find. All right, what we covered today is to copy, paste, or cut text or images, open a new tab, or reopen a previously closed tab. We talked about hyperlinks and zooming in and out, and I really hope that you guys found this useful. You can write down these keyboard short to make them visible to you so that you can find them whenever you need or just refer back to this video whenever you need as well. Thanks for watching.